Don't rush and started helping one or two of them and later they called me and said this particular girl is a talent. With the generous support from the Anambra State Government, friends and family, including the Lagos Lawn Tennis Club, it is hoped that Tanya Okpala will soon return to the tennis courts and do justice with the rackets. Well, if you've just tuned in, you to watch the program Sports Desk. Now, let's take a look at um, tennis in the country, Nigeria. And um, to my right, I have the president, Lagos Lawn Tennis Club, uh, Mr. Timitope Abe. It's nice to have you on the program. Thank you so very much. And I also have the vice president, Ladi Ola Tunde. It's nice to have you on the program. Thank you very much. Well, let's um, go straight to the business of the day. But before then, um, today is um, the 95th um, post you must birthday ah, okay. of your mom. May our gentle soul continue to rest apart. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right. Um, Tanya This is, um, we thought she was going to be our own Serena Williams. And from what we know as far as sports is concerned, at 30, um, when you're in your 30s, you're no longer uh, at that peak, so to say. What they expect is um, some form of um, lesser return. The Lagos Long Tennis Club has come to our aid. The Anambra State Government has come to our aid. Um, what are the lessons for us? Um, thank you so very much for having us on this program. And um, thank you so very much as well for covering the um, uh, donation and the support that we made to Tanya. Tanya was um, a great talent growing up. And um, along the line, she missed it. Like the dad said, that uh, probably maybe the death of the mom was one of the problems that she had. But um, you know that these days a whole lot of things are going on. You know? So depression is real. Either we like it or not, we have to believe that depression is real. So she fell into that um, category of uh, people. But um, thank you so very much to the Anambra State Government that came to our aid. And um, they have been very, very supportive. And the Lagos Lawn Tennis Club, too. When we sat down and then we, you know, we looked at the, at the story and we knew that she started playing from uh, our club, we got ourselves together as a club and then we tried to donate some money to support the, um, the um, rehabilitation process. So we are so glad that uh, we are part to this and um, we are so glad to you know, announce to you that uh, Tanya is getting back on her feet. Even though um, her age is not... Um, within the age bracket of who can be playing competitive tennis, she could still be a coach. Personally. Yes, she could still be a coach, you know, and there's uh, so many other areas in the, in the uh, field of tennis, she can still, uh, you know, participate as well. Let, let, let me interject <clears throat> and um, we'll come to the vice president. The president talked about um, Tanya probably becoming a coach. Um, she could become a coach and um, share a lot of experience with the younger generation. But uh, the Lagos Lawn Tennis, uh, you know, I was there on Sunday, and I must say I'm really impressed with the facilities, um, top-notch. But then, sadly, sadly, um, growing up on the job, I recall, you know, covering international tennis tournaments at the Lagos Lawn. But it's a different kettle of fish today. What is responsible for this? Well, I want to thank you again for this opportunity. We have so many reasons for all this. One, the COVID-19 set us back. That period was a period that... Um, Things were just not working. Of course, not within us, even everywhere else. Things were just not working. And it set us back. We used to have the Governor's Cup. The Governor's Cup was um, initiated by the present president, uh, presidents, Ashwaju Ahmed Tinubu. He took interest in tennis. And also the refurbishing the Lord Roman Scots. He did a lot for us. He refurbished 
And um, the, the, his presence with us at that time was very encouraging. And it encouraged the other governors. You know, they have always been supportive. Lagos State governors have always been supportive. You know, and we appreciate that. We appreciate that. So, um, years back, you know, I saw international tennis stars, little new weights and the likes, come to Nigeria to play international tennis tournament. But the sad story today is the fact that um, even this year, late last year, I still covered young Nigerian tennis players going to countries like Benin Republic to secure ranking points. Now, in the absence of international tournaments like this, it means developmental tennis is suffering. How do we get you know, the international tournament back, President? Um, international tennis, um, tennis as a game in Nigeria is not, um, I would say, it's not high rank like soccer. And then, um, a whole back in the days, we used to have um, a lot of tournaments coming to Nigeria, and then um, it used to be like a money game. Mm. Back in the days when the Naira and the Forex were at par, you know, we used to have um, tournaments that uh, the winning points would be like ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars. Today, it's, um, it's you know a really a big Miles deal apart. to be able to do. So when you now talk about um, ranking as well, um, I agree with you that uh, tennis is really taking a downturn in Nigeria. And we are looking at a whole lot of ways to bring it back. The last gala night that we had in our club, um, thank you so very much to the present governor, Governor Songulu, who was there. And uh, we had a very long discussion about the governor's cup that uh, my vice president just uh, mentioned here. And then, um, like, during the, I think before the advent of COVID, it has really, you know, had a very serious downturn. Um, the governor said that um, people had been coming to him to talk to him about um, the governor's club, but nothing has been happening at the club. So he said he's going to be looking into that and make sure that um, the tournament, you know, come back to life. So we hope and pray that um, this year, we will have the Governor's Cup, you know, revived and come back to the club again. Because the, yeah, the Governor's Cup actually really helps the ranking, like you said. Yeah. And um, Vice President, not, uh, as, as we call it today on the show, um, we see parents years back come to the club with their kids. And that's how Tanya also indeed was able to be spotted. Uh, is that tradition still there today where members encourage their children to take part in sports. The tradition is still there. You know, and um, let me tell you something about uh, what the president said about uh, Tonya. And what you also said. Yeah, he can, she can come out and become a coach. But there is more to her, to her being together. She can teach so many things about the world to the children, to the upcoming uh, players. She has history now. She can make use of that history. So a lot of this is still being encouraged within the club. Right. Parents bring the children, we coach their children, and we bring them up. Not only parents, but people within. Interesting. And then my final message would be, um, if Tanya's parents encourage her to play tennis, I've seen parents who encourage their kids you know, at the Lagos Long Tennis Club to indeed take part in tennis. Parents should encourage their children to take part in one sporting event or the other. At that youthful age, they will channel their energy the right way. I must say a very big thank you, Mr. Timothy Barabere, for being a part of the show. Thank and you so And also, Mr. Nadiola, to the many thanks for being a part of the show. Um, that's thank where the quick is crumble on today's edition of the show. Tomorrow will be another time in the ever exciting world of sports. Me and I, Kribler, for the crew, dropping anchor.